Well, good afternoon, everyone. This morning, boy, we started off with some chilly temperatures, even some spots uh, cold enough to get a little patchy frost to form. 35 the low in Tallinn, uh, 36 in Colebrook, and 38 in Staffordville. Uh, Jeff was talking about how that was the coolest morning in the Staffordville area since May 26. So, yeah, some chilly numbers initially. Elsewhere, again, a lot of 40s on the map and some upper 30s, especially in the hills. It looks like we're going to see those kind of temperatures again for tonight into tomorrow morning but right now look at that we rebounded very nicely with that dry air in place and of course the sunshine it's like so welcomed right and those temperatures are very comfortable into the 60s a little warmer down towards Norwich 67 versus upper 50s in Torrington the winds coming in from the north and east about 12 miles per hour so a little breezy out there this is a live view with full sunshine in New London where it is 66 degrees the forecast which you can access through the first alert weather app for your location for example, in New London, which is going to be very similar to most places, temperatures will be climbing into the upper 60s this afternoon under full sunshine, clear sky tonight, and those temperatures will be going back down into the 40s and 30s. So patchy frost also going to be possible in those cold spots. And uh, so make sure you just stay warm. Keep the pets indoors, too. They're not used to this cold like we are. And we're going to be seeing that beautiful weather stretching across most of New England. The big E right now, a happening place to be with this beautiful fall weather. The fair forecast for tomorrow is going to be uh, just as nice. We'll see just a few more clouds up to our north. Uh, 70 degrees for the high. All in all, looking great today and tomorrow. Things will be changing, of course. You can't have this gorgeous weather last forever, unfortunately, but high pressure that has been our friend settling southward will continue to keep us dry and uh, refreshing for this time of year through Thursday. But as that high moves out, it allows an area of low pressure to start to move in. So this is Friday morning, you start to see some of those rain showers building in from the south. So we'll be uh, watching for that, the rain returning, and uh, some color is starting to increase across our state. His cooler temperatures certainly helping that. We'll continue to provide that foliage forecast uh, for those of you that want to, you know, take some drives in the future. Your first alert, a seven day, does feature the uh, chilly mornings, at least one more morning, and then things start to change for us. We're looking at those overnight lows back to normal, uh, afternoon highs back to normal, but there it is, Friday, I know. We had to add some showers in the forecast. For now, we're keeping it dry for Saturday, but that could change as well, so keep up with this changing forecast. Then warming up next week, those short line temperatures are going to be a very nice and actually kind of toasty for this time of year Sunday and beyond that's your first alert forecast